Time now for a check of your first alert forecast. Here's Lonnie Quinn with details on our yellow alert for tomorrow. We're looking at rain for tomorrow. So let's jump right into it, guys. Your picture outside, there's no rain yet in New York City. We've actually got thicker clouds north of the city. 43 degrees on the thermometer. Winds are nice and calm. 48 was your high, 36 was your low. So both the high and the low running one degree off of a perfectly average day for this time of the year. All right, so what do we see for tomorrow? It's going to be milder out there, 55 degrees. The showers that we're talking about ease in late in the morning. Some heavy bouts develop as you push through your day, even into Wednesday as well. We do have a yellow alert because of that rain. So let me show you how this is going to work out. Again, thicker clouds, the farther north you go, not as thick as you go down to the south. They'll fill in for everybody by the morning hours. This looks to be the big player right now on your screen. It's around Atlanta, Georgia with a lot of rain. And yet, <laughs> this is what we're focused on, this cold front up around Chicago. So without the cold front there tugging on this, this would all just spill right off the South Carolina coast. But you can even see, okay, watch how it's moving like that, right? But look at the northern tier of this system. Watch how that's being tugged up to the north. See that? So this front is actually pulling on some of that moisture. It's going to pull the clouds up as well by tomorrow morning. See them coming right up from the south? This is 7 a.m. So I don't see any problems for the morning drive. By the time you get to about 1130, the rain has moved in. Not terribly heavy. It is west of the Hudson at that point in time. So it spreads over the area here at 5 p.m. You start to see a couple little flashes of orange even, uh, which would be the heavy downpours. This is 5 p.m. And we're going to deal with stuff just like that throughout the nighttime hours. So your drive home is more eventful than your drive to work tomorrow. Here we are midnight and a pretty heavy bout of rain. Yeah, anywhere from, say, Rye, New York, stretching over towards Nassau County in this depiction. And then by 7.30 Wednesday morning, it's wetter the farther east you go. So if you're driving in from the east, uh, wet roadways for you. Everybody else is starting to dry out a bit, but you never dry out on Wednesday. There's trailing showers throughout your day. This is 7 p.m. So how much rain do we pick up? Numbers are holding steady anywhere from about a half an inch to about an inch and a half. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. The problem with an inch and a half of rain is it can create some problems. So the biggest concern is the rain, not the wind. It's even the rain, it's not dishing out a big major amount, but rainfall totals about half an inch to an inch and a half. Spread out over a two-day period, the ground can get saturated. So if you get one of those heavy downpours, that could cause some flooding out there. And we're issuing a yellow alert. What does that mean, KJ? It means don't get caught off guard. You know, do the things to just to make yourself prepared for this. An inch and a half of rain, if you get that, would be a problem if you don't clear your gutters. So leaf clog drains need to get cleared. And it's two days worth of rain, not just one. So the red alert is for Tuesday. Uh, excuse me, the yellow alert is for Tuesday into Wednesday. This is not a red alert. This is just, hey, heads up weather. 54 by the time you get to Thursday, things dry out a bit. We catch a break. Cold air sets up for Friday and for Saturday. But by Friday night, we're looking at another chance for some rain that could maybe linger into your weekend. I'll try to nail that one down. But right now, again, an inch and a half for some people out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, you just want to be aware. Take the umbrella. And I really want to caution everybody. Clear the drains if you can. Yeah, definitely. Make sure your wind chill wipers work, too. <laughs> well, I need to get mine I replaced. I didn't even think. Yes, you're right. Well, I only thought of it because I need to get mine replaced. Anyway. Okay. Thank good. you, Lonnie.